Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel, March 18th, 2017. Last night, Fireball spotted shooting across the southern British Columbia skies and also seen throughout the state of Washington here in the United States. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we keep seeing these fireballs and meteors in frequency. Let's get into the information because we actually have some video. This is coming out of British Columbia. If you take a look at the photograph here, you can barely see this was caught on a dash cam. There is some video with this footage and we'll go ahead and go over it. But it reads, a suspected meteor lit up the sky across southern British Columbia and western Washington around 9.40 p.m. Several people took to Twitter, naturally, to report seeing a green meteor lighting up the sky around Fraser Valley. Now, they listed a few tweets from a few individuals. Just watched a meteor light up the Vancouver sky. Wow, looked like it was over Surrey. Another individual tweets, just saw a mind-blowing meteor to the south. I'm not even going to destroy that, that town's name, but um, it was burning green. Once again, green meteor over western Washington equals the leprechauns are coming. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of easy to make fun of this information when you're really not knowing what's happening in the skies above. I'll be quite frank with all of you, which I normally am. Sooner or later, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get hit by one of these meteors. Back in 2013, we all saw what happened in Russia as a very, I would say, medium-sized meteor exploded approximately 15 miles over Chelyabinsk, Russia. Referring back to that, is very easy there are tons of videos tons of dash cam and listening to the sonic boom explosion damaging buildings and injuring over a thousand people the majority of these people were injured by flying glass cuts abrasions eye injuries and the explosion was pretty devastating thank god that that explosion was over an uninhabited area. If that would have been over a major city, you would have had a lot of destruction. But this is the uh, the short video clip I'll play for you. I'll leave a link for it. And you can see it. It just passes by, burns up in the sky. This is a replay. Comes in out of nowhere. There you see it right there. Flashing green. And it was gone. Apparently, it burned up in the atmosphere. It says people here, uh, as far as Victoria and West Kelowna, reported seeing similar uh, sightings they listed on the American Meteor Society website. There is no confirmation yet as to whether this sighting was a meteor or other space debris. Well, so... Space debris, burning green, coming out of nowhere. Okay, well, there is a possibility. I'm not buying it. Channel Q13 Fox out of Washington. What was that fireball in the sky over western Washington? Well, it was a meteor. Let's listen to this reporter. You know, in the beginning, uh, she seems kind of, uh, I don't know, disorganized at what she's reporting on. But let's take a listen. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. blah. Going, did anyone else see this? What do you think this is? 
Interesting stuff. So that still frame there, I mean, that gives you a pretty good look, I guess, at, at whatever was falling from the sky, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, so, so, so what are the possibilities, MJ? It could be yeah. what? It could be a meteor. It could be some space. Okay, it could be a meteor, it could be space junk, yeah, it could be anything. Ladies and gentlemen, that was clear as a bell. If you've seen as many meteors as I have seen and researching this and going over the information constantly, you're pretty much able to identify these, these objects. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that was a meteor. Now, meteors have a color code. If I'm not mistaken, uh, meteor, the meteor composition that burns green uh, has to do with um, the presence of, of magnesium. Um, I'm pretty sure that the, the green color is, is magnesium. But moving over to the American uh, Meteor Society, this is showing you all of the people around this area that actually went ahead and reported this meteor. Does it look like a large group of people? But this is just one reporting. One reporting. We're going to click back here real quick. We're going to take a look at these events. On the 17th, the meteor sighting in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Another meteor sighting on the 17th, Canada. And the US right there once again the 17th US and Canada New York New Jersey Pennsylvania Ontario all of these people saw a meteor same date British Columbia another meteor sighting California South Carolina Texas California Oregon Two more sightings in Washington, Washington, and then Washington, British Columbia, Idaho, Montana, and Oregon. The day before, on the 16th, Oklahoma, Kansas, Pennsylvania, California, Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, Alaska, Michigan, Kentucky, Ontario. Listen, these are all for all of this. This is all for the 16th of March, two days ago. Now, is there a possibility this was just one meteor that all of these people saw? I doubt that. It would all depend on the pathway that this object came through and these people in all of these states and all of these locations seeing the same object. Eh, I don't know. I think uh, I think there were several meteors that came through meteorites and they were reported so ladies and gentlemen I do urge you that if you do see a fireball or a meteor get on to this site let me just back up here one second get on to the American Meteor Society site go to where it says fireballs report a fireball and then you can just click start and go ahead and fill out your information. They use the Google Maps platform. So, you know, whenever you put in your zip code or your city and state or where you were actually at, it will pinpoint it. This information is critical in reporting and establishing all of this data that's coming in. And I'm going to be quite frank with you once again. I believe that we're going to start to see even more meteors appearing in the skies around the world. There's just absolutely no doubt. When a large object such as a brown dwarf and possibly planets associated with the brown dwarf, any objects coming through the Kuiper belt, the asteroid belt, knocking these objects in all different ways and those objects asteroids you know meteors chunks of rock space rock bumping into each other at very high rates of speed and then all of a sudden they're on a crash course with our planet if you don't think it's possible do your research find out this is how this occurs 
And for the last year, well, over a year and a half now, we've been under the threat constantly of a meteor impact. God forbid that one of these objects is like the size of a house or a building. Wow, we're talking a very, very cataclysmic event, possibly extinction level. If any one of these large objects passes through and impacts into the ocean, offshore of the United States or any other country, huh, you can definitely guarantee that you are going to see the biggest tsunami that man has ever seen walking the earth today. That much is a guarantee. But I'm going to leave a link for this information if you'd like to take a look at it. There's not a lot of detail in there other than the sighting and the report. And you could see they didn't dedicate a lot of time or investigation into what was seen. It's almost like this is becoming common around the world. It's nice to see. It's amazing to see. But behind that beautiful green light that lit up the sky, that's danger. That's a whole lot of danger. And sooner or later, our luck here on this planet, dealing with meteors, meteorites, asteroids, the laws of probability start to take effect. The more incoming, the more chances of impact. This is Scott from the Nibiru Channel. Thank you for watching.